What's up guys and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I am a cruelty-free travel YouTuber. In this video, we're gonna be doing a review, some swatches, and a tutorial using the Desert Oasis palette from BH Cosmetics. This is a 19 color shadow and highlighter palette. Now when I first saw this palette on their website, I was like, okay, that's, that's a pretty palette. I could add that to my collection. And then I got it in the mail and I opened it up and I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, the picture online does not do it justice. So this is what the palette looks like. You've got some matte shades, quite a few shimmers, and then of course your highlighters over here. With Mirage being the biggest pan, which is a pretty standard highlighter shade, but still very pretty. And honestly, I feel like for the price, the packaging is really nice. I love that it's very themed with a desert oasis kind of feel. Now, all the colors too, very, deserty, very earthy tones with a little bit of pop of color. All the names are very themed as well. So you've got prickly pear, cactus, mirage, heat haze, sandstone, dune, terrain, sand. I love when palettes have a theme like this where you've got it's desert oasis, the golds, the blues, the earthy tones, all the names of the shades. It's all very unified and I really, really like that a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and go ahead and dive in. First, taking a Sigma E25 in the shade Sand, we're going to lay down a transition shade all over each lid. Next, taking Canyon with the same brush, we're going to add some color to the lid, blending up towards the eyebrow. Making sure the edges are well blended out doing the same thing to both sides. Next, using the shade Dune, we're going to darken the crease, blending it out. Using Sandstone, we're going to add some color onto the lid. Still using the E25, we're gonna make sure everything is blended nicely. Taking an E38 with the Nightscape, we're gonna darken the outer V, but I had some fallout, so I switched to packing it on with my fingertip. Taking Heat Haze, we're going to add some color to the first half of the lid using my fingertip. Using Prickly Pear, we're going to lightly add some shimmer onto the outer V where we used Nightscape. Using an E35 in the shade Terrain, we're going to highlight the brow bone. Taking Moonscape on an E30, we're going to highlight the inner corner. Adding some eyeliner onto the top and bottom. Using Hot Spring on the E30, we're going to add some color to the first half of the lower lash line. And of course, we're going to add some eyeliner in the waterline. And using Mirage to give us some highlight. And next, we're drawing on the symbol. This wasn't easy, and I used a mix between pencil liners and liquid. If you have body paint, that would probably be better, but I didn't, so eyeliner is gonna have to be it. All right guys, so this is the final look. 
I went with the Coco Lashes in the Style Goddess, which of course, I mean, we're doing like a Cleopatra Desert Oasis theme, so of course I gotta go with Goddess. And then for my lips, I went with the Velour Liquid Lipstick from Jeffree Star in the shade Thickest Thieves. I felt like it was just a really pretty color. It really matched, again, the theme, Thickest Thieves. I don't know, it just kind of seemed like it really went well. Let's uh, go ahead and do some quick swatches. So, full disclosure, some of these colors might not show up very well on my very pale skin, like sand, which is the exact color of my skin tone, which is fine because that makes it a great transition shade, but just wanna let you know that it is swatching, probably just won't be able to see it that well on camera. So first we're gonna go in with, starting at the top, we've got Moonscape. Quartz. We've got Canyon. We've got Sand. Terrain. We've got Prickly Pear. which I think is my favorite color of this whole palette. Hot Spring. So these are all the swatches. Very, very pretty. Very pigmented. I barely had to press on the skin. These shades aren't showing up as well on camera just because I'm so pale. All right, guys, so let's dive into some highlighters. We've got Serenity, we've got Bliss, we have Mirage, Utopia, and we have Hideaway. So those are the highlighters. They have such a variety, like they are just so pigmented, just so buttery. Now I did get this palette on sale and it also came with this bronzer, which is the Brilliance Bronzer in Golden Gal. This is a satin finish. So I'm going to go ahead and, and get this on my brush and we're just going to kind of throw it on my neck right here so you can kind of see it. Like I can already tell, it's definitely giving me some color, and I'm like, I barely even touched it on the brush. So that kind of gives you an idea. See, this is without the bronzer, and this is with. So it gives you just enough glow. I think the bronzer is really, really pretty, and it's relatively inexpensive too. So packaging is great. Of course, you get a full mirror. I do love that it's a satin finish, and for the price point, again, a plus. So final thoughts on the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis palette. Honestly, I really like this palette a lot. I think it's super pretty. The shade range is gorgeous. All of the colors blended out super beautifully. Pigment was there. The highlighters I absolutely adore. I think they look really, really pretty on the skin. I just, I just really, really like this palette a lot. The pictures do not do it justice. 
whatsoever. Now I did have some fallout with Nightscape, which is the darkest matte shade, and a few of the shimmers, but very minimal, very, very minimal. There is some, so I do wanna let you guys know that, but overall, I feel like this palette is really, really pretty. There's a lot of great colors in here, super blendable, pigmented, even with the very minimal fallout of the shimmers, they're super, super buttery. For this price point, I really don't think you can beat this. Like, it's just such a solid palette. I love it. Absolutely love it. Highly recommend. Would purchase again. All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And consider subscribing. I make videos like this every week. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.